My main takeaway is that as with any democratically elected leader, Lai's main focus is domestic. Uh, he, he won a very narrow election margin with a divided government. The DPP lost the LY. And I think he's going to focus on what he said in this speech, uh, taking the next two years before the midterm local elections to address the concerns that uh, weaken the DPP's performance in January. We also had a de delegation from the United States come along. It was a bipartisan group of former officials, which is in line what we've seen in previous uh, inauguration ceremonies uh, in, the, in, of course, the, uh, I think it was 2016, 2020, all of it was the same. Uh, in terms of this and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo coming to this, what do you think the takeaway for the U.S. side is so from being here and, of course, the growing relationship between Taiwan and the United States? Well, I think the U.S. goal is primarily to maintain the status quo. And I think what you saw with this unofficial delegation that uh, attended the, the inaugural is the U.S. is trying to stay within past precedents. And this has been a central feature of not just Biden's policy, but most of his predecessors. I think uh, former Secretary Pompeo's attendance is in a private capacity. Um, he's, I think, there on a book tour and was invited to the inaugural. But I think that the core messages that I've heard from Lai's team and those of the U.S. generally overlap. The message towards Beijing is continuity, status quo, and stability. I don't think anyone is looking to escalate uh, at the current moment.